Have you ever had the experience when someone like a teacher or a coach had high expectations from you and you tried your best regardless of what you think your capabilities are just because they trusted you that you will fulfill the task or someone who thought you were not fit for the task and you really felt demotivated? Well, this is called the Pygmalion Effect. How others' perception about ourselves affects our efforts and belief about our own capabilities. This week in This Indulge, we are going to discuss the Pygmalion Effect and the psychology of success. Hang around to see the full video so you can find out how you can achieve more in life by psychologically subverting your brain to do more and keep yourself motivated. A general characteristic of all human beings is that we often tend to judge ourselves, especially our competence and worth, based on the perception of others. If people think that we are not capable of doing something, it starts to impact our effort and the end result. Theologian Jacques Benign Bossuet said, The greatest weakness of all weaknesses is to fear too much to appear weak. Two psychiatrists named Robert Rosenthal and Lenore Jacobson took a group of students in a class and intentionally told their teacher that some of the students had high IQ and they were a late bloomer, although they had not shown any significant intelligence in academia thus far. Meanwhile, teachers were told that another group of students were not capable of being a highly qualified professional in their area of studies as they scored low in IQ tests. Interestingly, the group that was told positive things about their capabilities did significantly better in their academic years than the ones that were told they were not good enough, making it a self-fulfilling prophecy. This was further confirmed in a test where two groups of students were given specific numbers of mice to complete a maze challenge. One group of students was told that their mice are intelligent and trained for maze puzzles, and the other group was told the opposite that their rats are not intelligent. In fact, the group that was told that their mice are intelligent won, when in fact the mice were all the same for both groups. Rosenthal and Jacobson reached the conclusion that the impact of a person's expectations over the recipients does generate a powerful impact on them. The term came from the Greek sculptor Pygmalion, who is said to have made such a beautiful female sculpture that he himself fell in love with the sculpture Pygmalion effect can change the behavior of the leader according to the expectations of the employee's expectation of the leader. Also, if the leader expresses positive feedback to the employees and expects them to do better, it also resonates with the employees. They begin to be motivated and confident about themselves and their work and participates in more learning behavior. They complete more tasks and begin to show more efficiency. Leaders, on the other hand, will show more leadership behavior and trust their employees more in their work, bringing a positive cycle which will propel them to be better at their own positions. Although some research studies have questioned the authority of this research, it does, however, have a clear impact on how we behave and act in our workplace, education and everyday life. So, what can we learn from these experiments and the Pygmalion effect? and how can we apply this to our life to better ourselves. The first important thing that needs to be acknowledged is that we often perceive ourselves through the eyes of others despite our inherent qualities that might differ from their perception. So having a positive attitude towards others will result in positive feedback from themselves and in return they will show more perseverance to complete such a task. So. Have positive people around you who expect higher from you. The Pygmalion Effect has a powerful impact on organizations, schools, and social setups. Give people reasons to trust in your ability. Show them that you are willing to make it. If someone thinks you are good at a particular thing, have them around to create that positive loop, which will invisibly force you to expect higher from you, and thus getting higher results. But beware of admiration, so that it does not get into your head and you start to take things for granted. You must work to earn that admiration and keep on improving. On the other hand, 
people may have lower expectations from you. But it does not mean that just because they expected less makes you any less capable. Use your willpower and work ethics to change the perception of others around you. Have self-belief. That is the key to your success. Do not let yourself down because people had negative ideas about your capabilities because you know that their negative thoughts will affect your performance. So from now on, always expect higher from yourself and create a situation that people will expect higher from you. But if you are not dedicated enough, soon that expectation will turn into peer pressure. So always stay motivated, positive and have an attitude to learn constantly. In a future video, we will discuss peer pressure and how we can avoid it. So stay tuned for our next video, exactly on Monday at the same time. Like the video if you love the content and subscribe and press the bell button for notification. It will inspire us to make more quality content. See you in the next one.